Hello students, today we are going to see the topic, time study. I am Professor K. Kalidas to handle the session for you. So, time study is defined as the art of observing and recording the time required to do each detailed element of an industrial activity or operation. So the time taken for every operation which is divided elementally. So that's the notable point. The entire job has been divided into elements. For every element of job, what is the time taken we are going to calculate. So it is the time stream. So generally the stopwatch has been used for making the time study process. So it is used for checking time standards using other methods for time repetitive operations and using easy to use them for the operations which are broken into elements. Other than stopwatch, even motion picture camera and time recording machines can also be employed, but this is the comparatively an uh, easy technique and economical technique for time stream. So what are the steps? So you establish the quality to be achieved in a product, identify the operations to be timed, obtain the improved procedure from method study department, collect the necessary equipments for doing the time study and ensure their accuracy, select the worker to be observed, Give confidence and knowledge to the worker about the objective of this study. Then explain the worker about the improved working procedure and usage of all the tools, sticks, fixers, and attach attachments. Now break the operations into small elements and uh, write them on the proper form. So what is the objective of breaking? So it separates the productive and unproductive activities, that is needed and uh, unneeded activities. Then it again separates the effective time and ideal time of the worker. And it assesses the operator's performance accurately. Then it produces the detailed work specification and it selects the best method for doing the job and to collect information for data, the standard data. So that's why we are going to divide into elements. So elements, as I said, it's the smaller parts of the operations to, which are easier to observe, measure, and analyze. Now separate constant time from variable time. So already we have discussed what is uh, constant time and variable time. So constant time is uh, the time taken for doing the kind of operation. So the time repeats over for a very longer period of time. But variable, again, the time varies for every operation. So again, uh, for an example, when you are uh, putting your materials in the check, when you use a three-jar check, the time taken is going to be constant because you are going to have the key for uh, tightening the work piece. But when you use a four-jar check, again, the alignment between the Jaws of the checks is a major factor. So every time it may not be a constant time period. So it's a variable time period. So separate these elements. So determine the number of observations that has to be timed and collect the observation method and record them in the time study form. So it has been done using non flyback, flyback, and split type of uh, stopwatches. It means uh, there are different types of stopwatches. One you can start and uh, when you close the knob, it stops immediately. And when you open it up, again, it starts from scratch. That is from the first to second. Few stopwatches, uh, it records the time continuously and intermediate breaks. So every time when you press the knob, intermediate, you can uh, measure the time like this with hands. So this type of stopwatches can be used. So. How this continuous time is being calculated was, say, for example, 
if a job is divided into four, the total time period for every element is 20, 40, 70, and 100. So the time stopwatch is running on. So at the end, first element when you do it, the time period is 20. When, when you complete the second element, it's 40. When you complete the third element, 70. When you complete the fourth element, 10. But for individual element, so again, 40 minus 20 is 20, 70 minus 40 is 30. So like this, we can calculate the time period for each element when you use the stopwatch continuously. Then rate the performance of the worker and repeat the steps for more than one observation. Now compute the observation time. So what is the time taken by the worker for doing the elemental work? Then calculate the normal time with observed time by using the performance rating factor. Then add the allowances because we cannot work for a over a longer period of time. So add few allowances like process elements, resistant personal elements, special elements, policy elements, etc. So which will give you the standard time. So as we said, uh, so this is the observed time. So we're adding with the performance rating factor, which will give you the normal time. So all the other elements like those process elements, rest elements, special elements are added to get the standard time. So finally, the policy elements are added to the standard time. So this is the time study form that has been used in the companies. So who is going to study and what date? What is the product? What is the operation? How many cycles? What is the time? So we have to go for the elemental descriptions. So it's been divided, a job is divided into many elements. So what is the description of the particular element? Then how many observations you have made? So just calculate the readings. So what is the average? Then rating factor. Rating factor indicates, uh, say, how uh, important that, that work was and how difficult that uh, job was. So, so just adding this will give you the normal time. Adding with that with the allowances will give you the standard. So in this lecture, we have seen about the time study and the steps to be followed in conducting this time study using the stopwatch.